conveniently forgot to mention about your lifelong crush. Well, okay, huh? well, you. Okay, well, let's talk about you, huh? How many girls huh? did you date before me? I, uh, I mean... Okay, long story short, I mean, a life story in one minute for anybody who's new here. My name is Leslie. J. Panna, thank you for the gifted sum. I was born in Northern California in the year of 1992. And that's a long time ago. Um, and then I was born and I have a mom and a dad and a brother. My brother's six years older than me. And then I went to school and I was at school one time and I talked really loud in preschool and then, uh, or... I did something and then they, I, I got in trouble. So they made me do nap time instead of going on a school field trip. And it, it, I'm still salty about it. And I still remember like fake sleeping during a forced nap time. And I really wanted to go on the school trip, but because I was like talking too much, they made me stay back and it sucked. Um, yes. And then, so sorry, what happened after that? Okay. Then I went to a school, um, another school, but I had like a, I was a klepto back then. And so I actually like, uh, was stealing money from my mom and giving it to kids at school. I don't know why. Don't ask me. I went through a weird phase. And so like one time I stole a hundred dollars from my mom's wallet and I didn't know where to put it. So I put it in my underwear. Um, and then my mom was changing me the next morning and she pulled down my underwear and my, the hundred dollar bill came out and my mom's like, <laughs> uh, so that happened. And then I went to school and I would give other kids at school money and then they didn't know what to do with it because we're literally in preschool. So then th they would give it to their parents. We're getting the life story. Huh? <laughs> I'm just giving a little TLDR of my life, okay? So then um, then that kid would tell give the money I gave them to their mom and then their mom would contact my mom and my mom's like, Leslie, are you stealing money from my wallet? And I'm like, what? No, but I was. Um, so that was a phase I went through. I was a big klepto back in the day. Okay, so that was preschool. So then we get to kindergarten. <laughs> Is that kindergarten? I forgot. Okay, well, then I went to this private school called Challenger and um, I went there for a couple years and I have some memories. Uh, there's this boy in fifth grade. Well, there's like two events that happened in fifth grade. First event was um, there was a class pet named Raja, the gecko. I had, uh, everyone took him home for a weekend. So it was my turn to take home Raja. So I took Raja home and uh, I killed him. <laughs> well, I thought I killed him. So Raja was not moving and I was like, poking Raja and I was like oh my god I literally killed the class gecko <laughs> so I was freaking out I was like maybe I can go to the pet store and pick up a replacement gecko and Mrs. Thate won't notice yada yada but I was like okay you know what I'll just pretend he's sleeping so I give him back dead to Mrs. Thate and then she's like oh thank you and I was like oh my god she doesn't realize that he's dead anyway so at that point I'm like okay I made it because she looks at him and like he's alive in her mind and so, and so, um, so, so then, so then, TLDR, he wasn't dead, okay? Uh, he was sleeping. He was hibernating. And he just went to hibernation when I picked, happened to take him home. <laughs> or he was already hibernating or something. So anyways, that was that. And then the other thing that happened in fifth grade was that there was a boy who really liked me. And he would bring me red, uh, white rabbits. They're these little, little Chinese, or not Chinese, Asian chocolate, or not chocolate, like white chew, sweets. I don't know. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? Anyways, I would take these white chocolates or white rabbits and I would reject him because I didn't like him. And he was really like, like he was so mushy gushy, like, like I like you. So I brought you snacks and he'd bring me snacks. And I was like, this is too much. Like, I don't want the snacks. But all the other kids are like, dude, like white rabbits are the best. You should totally take them. And I was like, no, I can't. Cause I don't like him. Anyways, like um, I think I went on to make like a, a club where his name was Justin and I think I made an I hate Justin club. <laughs> really mean, you know, they made a club called I hate Justin club. <laughs> it was really mean. Um, I apologize. Don't worry. We made up, we made up in high school after high school. It was really mean though back then. Okay. Because he was really annoying. Okay. I have another memory in fifth grade. He wrote in my yearbook, a really like sappy message. And I, 
I didn't like it. Uh, so um, then him and his other two friends, they went like they were kind of like a, they would hate me one second and then they like me one second, then they hate me. So during one of the hate me phases, um, in we were in extended care. Um, him and his friends were calling me Leslie the lesbian, and I didn't know what a lesbian was back then. I just remember our extended teal, extended care teacher was like, "You cannot call her Leslie the lesbian," and I was like, "I don't even know what a lesbian is." <laughs> And so I remember, I have a very vivid memory of the yearbook and I was taking white out and I was whiting out his signature. And he wrote this long heartfelt thing. And I was just covered it in white out. And I actually still have that yearbook at home. If you open it, it's like covered. And I, I've tried to like scratch it off so I could read it now, but I can't, I whited it out. And I was crying and I was like, hands in my, you know. Eh. So that was that. And then I have another memory in fifth grade. A lot of things happened in fifth grade, okay? Um, there was a song by Linkin Park called In The End and um, all the cool kids were listening to it and I wanted to be cool. And so like the song was playing and I was like, oh my God, I love this song. And then my friend was like, you don't even know this song. Like you don't listen to this kind of music. I was like, yes, I do. So I went home and I listened to it on repeat like over and over and over and over and over again until the next day I came back and I knew every single word. And he was like, whoa, you actually like Linkin Park? And I and um, at first I didn't even like that kind of music, but because I listened to it so much, I started to really like the song. Anyways, I listened to a lot of Avril Lavigne back then. Fast forward. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Oh yeah. So then there was a school play. Uh, no, that's you know, we'll pass over that school play. Okay. So that was in fifth grade, sixth grade. I went to public school in sixth grade. Joined choir. Da -da -da -da. And nothing much. Seventh grade. Mm, oh, a lot happened in seventh grade. Way too much to talk about now. Eighth grade. Mm. In eighth grade, I took this swing dancing class. And uh, not to flex, but two guys asked me to be their swing dancing partner. So everyone, there was like an odd number of people at the swing dancing. <laughs> the swing dancing class, okay? And, um, and so everyone was like practicing. And then I would have to like dance with one of the guys. And then he would sit out. And then I'd dance with the other guy. And then that girl would sit out. And I'd dance with the other guy. And I think I wrote in my diary a little bit like not to flex. But I have two swing dancing partners. Okay. Fast forward. Um, <laughs> we do need to draw my life. Not to flex. And I didn't even like one of them. He was really strange. He was very clingy. <laughs> The other guy, I think I kind of had a small crush on. And I don't want to flex either, but I got a 33 out of 33 on my swing dancing class test. Only two people got a 33. Perfect score. Swing dancing. So I'm kind of wild. Okay, what else? Eighth grade. Ninth grade. Oh, wait, wait, wait. One other thing happened in middle school. Well, a lot of other things happened in middle school, but something eventful happened. forgot okay high school then comes high school high school was a wild time um i um i mean i just studied i was i was a good student i got a lot of b's and a's um college i was sorry then i uh, met my first boyfriend he was cool i guess i liked him a lot he was the first guy that ever called me pretty it was really cute um there's another guy who I had a really big crush on and like all through high school um but you know he was always like way out of my league and stuff but i was like you know, he sat next to me in math class and I was like, oh my God. <laughs> and like, he has to use my calculator sometimes. And that was like, ah. Um, so that was cool. Um, we did end up like sort of kind of like, you know, liking each other at one point. And I remember going like, oh my God, like, what is my life? This guy that like, I like, liked my all of high school actually kind of likes me back. Anyway, so then there was that. Then I met my ex-boyfriend and then he was cool until he sucked three years into college I found out he sucked and then um then that I studied got a biology degree um then then okay so then I got a degree I then I uh, was gonna be a teacher oh I want to be a doctor but then I'd, oh, I wanted to be a nurse then I wanted to be a doctor and then I wanted to be a vet and then I wanted to be a teacher and then from teaching I was I became a streamer TLDR Edison are you here uh-oh he's watching Oh, hey, ba hey, babe. I was just going over my life story. Oh, babe called me. Whoopsies. And then I met my fiance. Hello? And, and then I met my amazing, loving fiance, who then proposed to me. You just told, you just said something about having a lifelong crush in high school? In high school! How come you never told me about this? Okay. 
Uh, this, is, <laughs> this was, I mean, did I have you to tell you? Conveniently forgot to mention about your lifelong crush. Well, okay, huh? well, you, okay, well, let's talk about you, huh? How many girls huh? did you date before me? I, uh, I mean, hmm? I, uh, I just didn't, I didn't know what I wanted. You didn't know what you wanted? You dated? Yeah. All right, I'll let it slide this time. Oh, okay, thank you. Oh, I love you so much. Love thank, you. Thank you. You're the best. Love thank, you, too. Thanks for forgiving me. I forgive Wait you. Wait a second. What? <laughs> did you just, did you just deflect on me? Babe, we can't you be fighting before Valentine's me. Day. It's Valentine's Day. You me. What? You dated a lot of girls before me, admit it. Get to call the offense. Hey, <laughs> hey, how much longer are you going to stream for? Do you want me to bring you food? Oh, um, probably Valorant a little bit longer. Oh, my God. Is okay. this you inviting me to Valorant? No, no, no. I'm saying do I can bring you some food if you want some uh, nourishment, some sustenance. Nourishment? Sustenance? Some smackas. Nourishment? Okay. I mean, that'd be kind of cool. Okay, I'll just bring you some food really quickly, okay? Okay. All right. Bye. Goodbye. Have a good stream. Bye. And tell your lifelong, old lifelong crush, Flame, that you are engaged now. Huh? He okay, knows. Bye. I mean, I don't know if he knows, but he probably... Seriously? he's That was my crush in literally 11 years ago. 11 years. He's kidding. He doesn't mind. 